Hi, my lovelies. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary, and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you can click the subscribe button and stay for a while. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell from the title of the video, today we're going to try out some new beauty products. There's not too much because I didn't purchase too much. Yay me. But we do have a couple of new products that I wanted to test out with you all and see what my thoughts are on them. So if that sounds like a video you would love to see, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, my lovelies, I am back and hair is pulled back and part of my face is done. Let me tell you what I have on real quick. The NARS Matte Foundation mixed in with the Surratt Dew Drops. I did go in to the new Fenty Beauty Wear Even Concealer. I think that's the name of it. I've been loving it. It's a really good concealer. I definitely feel like it's one that can be both lightweight and you can actually build it up for a little bit more coverage, which is crazy, but the consistency, the way it blends out, it's so skin-like. I've been really enjoying it and I'm glad I decided to pick it up. I do have a full review on that product if you wanna check it out on my channel, but so far, what I mentioned and said about the concealer in that video has not changed, so that's good. Did go in to the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush and then for powders, I went in to the Huda Beauty Press Powder for my under eyes and the Dominique Cosmetics Loose Powder in Translucent for the rest of my face. I decided not to go in with cream bronzer or cream contour because one of the products we're going to test out today is a powder contour. All right, so the first product we're gonna try out is this Sephora contour. It's just the contour powder. There's four different shades available and it retails for $14. Sephora Colorful Contour Matte Powder. This was launched like two, three weeks ago. My package, for whatever reason, took so long to get to me. Okay, so it's an ultra fine, highly pigmented matte contour powder to effortlessly sculpt and define. I have seen two reviews that the person who reviewed this enjoyed it a lot. I picked up shade number two, which is for light to medium skin tones. And I do gotta say, uh, shade one, shade three, and shade four, I feel like they are all pretty cool tone leaning. That is the one thing that I have noticed when it comes to contouring shades. A lot of them are supposed to be contour, but for some reason, when they go from light medium to like medium and dark, you no longer see a cool undertone to the actual contour. And contour is supposed to create shadow on your face, but all of these shades look like they are true contour shades, and I'm loving that. So let's go ahead and try on this bad boy. Okay, like I mentioned, I did not go in to any cream, bronzer or cream contour. Let's go ahead and swatch this. Okay, does not feel creamy, feels like a true powder, but it does feel super soft and it does feel like a pretty true powder formula. Okay, I'm actually loving this swatch. That looks like a true contour for my skin tone. Not going to lie, the two reviews that I did see influenced me a tiny bit into purchasing this. They just looked so beautiful on Cheryl from Makeup by Cheryl. She is a Canadian-based makeup artist. I don't know if she actually works as a freelance makeup artist, but she is a makeup artist. And Risa from Risa Does Makeup, I'm pretty sure she is also a makeup artist and she is a YouTube content creator that's based in Las Vegas. So they both, it just, it looks so pretty on them and yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to jump in to this Sonia G Classic Cheek Brush. It's just a little bit more of a small tapered brush because I want to be very precise to where I apply this. And now I'm going to jump into this contour, powder contour. Ooh, yes, you see that? It's a true contour and it doesn't look muddy. It doesn't look gray, you know, like I have straight up gray tone on me. Okay. I don't have too many true powder contour products in my collection, 
But do you see that, how pretty it is? When it comes to contouring, you honestly don't need too much product. Okay, I am happy with this. It only costs $14, and it's actually a beautiful powder contour. I will be going in with some powder bronzer, but I just wanted to see this on its own and make sure that it wasn't too gray toned, and it's not. I feel like it looks beautiful, and I could probably use this just on its own if I ever wanted to. Okay, makeup looks good. I did go in to the MAC Cosmetics matte bronzer and I feel like I'm looking pretty chiseled. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna jump in to the two Sonia G brushes that I recently purchased. She did like two launches back to back. One of them sold out super quick. These, I think they're still available over on Beautylish. And these are two brushes, part of the new Tradition Series Kayaki Kakishibu set. It's a set of six eye brushes and it retails for $240 on the Beautylish website. You can also purchase these individually, which I did. So I went ahead and purchased T4, which is this one here, and then T2, which is like a flat shader brush. I am pretty sure I meant to purchase T3, which is is kind of like a crease brush, but it was a little bit more fat than this one. Uh, so that's my bad. But Sony G brushes are pretty good quality and I doubt I'm not going to be using this. Like I mentioned, $2.40 for this set. Uh, let me read you a tiny bit of a description. I'm on the Beautylish website. The set of six eye brushes feature unique design details like way we will balanced handles and have been crafted using time-honored Japanese traditions. The Kayaki handles are made using the traditional Tonoko polishing powder to fill and smooth the wood while Saiko Hoko bristles are dyed in kakishibu, which is a persimmon tanning dye, and it's dyed by hand. A precious traditional craft dating back to the 13th century made in Kumano, Japan, with a very high level of artisan craftsmanship, so production is limited and based on material and artisan availability. Okay, so I have, like I said, T2, which is a builder brush that lays down product effortlessly and it builds intensity gradually and T4, a medium crease blending brush designed with a flat surface and airy but substantially dense bristles. Yes, that I will agree with. I have already used this a couple of times and even though it's like super fluffy, I do feel when I am blending that the bristles are a tiny bit more dense and I just have more control as to how much pigment I want wear in the blending as well. And it is like they said, flat. Um, so far I'm enjoying this. And for the handle, see how it's like thin and then it's almost like it has a bubble right at the bottom. So this is different compared to the last set, which I forgot what these are called, but the handles are totally different. It's almost the opposite where it's like thin and then it goes fat at the top. And this one is thin and it goes fat at the bottom. You see both beautiful handles, but I tiny bit prefer this handle a little bit more. Okay, we are going to use these today because I do have a Make Beauty product that's for the eyes and I did order one of the new eye brushes that they released with this new launch. So first, let's get started with putting down a crease shade. Okay, I'm going to jump into my Makeup by Mario Master Mattes and the multi-chrome that I purchased from Make Beauty is a pretty warm multi-chrome. So I am going to put two shades on my crease. I'm going to start with this other Sonia G brush. It's a crease L, and I think I'm going to jump into a light shade. Let's do this one here. Okay, now that we got that light crease shade down. Now we're gonna jump into this shade here and we're gonna use the T4 brush. Like I mentioned, I have used this. I do truly enjoy it. It's soft but dense at the same time and I could just take my time making sure that I blend where I need it blended and where I want the most pigment. It's truly a really nice brush and I'm really enjoying the handle on this. Okay, here is what the eyes are looking like. 
We are going to jump in to the very last makeup product that I'm going to review for this video and another two more brushes and then we'll be done. Okay, so the next item is from Make beauty. I enjoyed this brand. I've featured the brand quite a few times on my channel. I did recently purchase the eyelash and brow serum. Just started using it about a week ago. Um, they offer both makeup and skincare products. I've dipped more into the makeup portion of the brand than I have the skincare. I did purchase, uh, they were having a sale, I forget when, but I purchased an under eye cream. I just haven't used it because I need to finish up the current one that I'm using. So I'm excited to try that. I also went ahead and purchased their brow gel, which I have been loving. It's a really good one and I'm glad I purchased it because it's becoming a favorite. Okay, so this is the Make Beauty Multichromatic Metal Reflecting Eye Shadow. It's available in 12 different shades and it retails for $24. The only thing is you have to buy from their website. It's not sold at retailers, which sucks. And I wish they were because I feel like they would be talked about a whole lot more than they currently are. I am on their website. Let me give you the description of this product. This highly pigmented multi-chrome eyeshadow adds luminous color to eyes with a foiled metallic finish formulated with special treated micas, reflective pearls, and conditioning lipids that provide a creamy texture for buildable dimensional eye looks available in 12 different shades. All right, here is what the outer packaging looks like. I do feel like their aesthetics is something that I personally enjoy. Their items do feel a tiny bit more on like the high-end side. Okay, so this has a 24-month shelf life and it looks like it was made in Italia and here is what the actual packaging looks like. All of their compact products are refillable products. So when you want to replace this, you can just take out the pan and replace it. Um, here is what the multi-chromatic, gosh, I wish you could see. There's no sun and it's pretty cloudy outside, but it looks so pretty. I'm excited to dip into this. Let me swatch it. Ooh. Okay, so it feels super soft, super smooth, creamy, creamy. Gosh, what does this remind me of? That's a beautiful shade. I know you're looking at this and you're thinking that's not a multi-chrome because of indie brands. This is not your typical indie brand multi-chrome. It's more of a softer version of a multi-chrome. I hope that makes sense. Just don't expect indie brand multi-chrome with this particular product. Okay, I did put on some NYX glitter glue. You don't have to, I just did because that's that's me, that's who I am. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to jump in to this T2 brush. I normally don't do this. I use my fingers for products like these, especially when they're creamy. Like, do you see how it looks after I swatched it? Yeah, I'm just, I prefer the finger, but we're gonna try it out and see if we can make it work with this Sonia G brush. Okay, so I did pick a product, but as you could see, it might get fall out. Press this in first. Make sure all the excess product that is off, off of the brush. Okay, no fallout, wait. No, no fallout, okay, good. No fallout, good, good, good. Uh, again, NYX Glitter Glue. Okay, if you are an indie lover, you're going to look at this and think that's not super impactful. <laughs> I feel like these are meant for those one and done gals. For those who enjoy a metallic-y, chunky, cream to powder kind of formula, that's going to be more on the soft side because even though indie brands have absolutely stunning multi-chromes, duochromes, any type of shimmer formula. There are just some people that don't enjoy that. And I feel like that's who these are meant for. Okay, I picked some up with my finger and I'm going to see just if I can intensify a tiny bit more with my finger and totally can. Yeah, these are just a soft kind of multi-chrome. 
do not expect indie from this okay that's what it's looking like i did also purchase one of the new eye brushes that they released the precision eye smudger retails for 24 dollars i didn't want to pay for shipping and why not try an eye brush <laughs> again i do enjoy their outer packaging it comes like that a little cover and the number one thing i love about make beauty brushes is that the handle is all of this here is metal so it has weight to the brushes everything honestly this has a little bit of weight i own one of the face brushes that also has weight to it the foundation it's made out of the foundation the bottle it comes in it's made out of glass the concealer the same thing it's made out of glass the lash serum it's made out of glass this brow gel this is glass like everything has weight to it and it gives you just a good feeling you know <laughs> okay so it does have like a little plastic cover and it's like a little smudger pencil brush it's pretty stiff so i think this is going to be good for like detail outer corner work or maybe here in the inner corner this was launched along with these multi-chrome shades but unless this was wet i don't think i would use this with this eyeshadow okay i did put some mac fix plus on the back of my hand dipped my brush into it and then dipped into here so it's almost like a chunky flaky kind of formula so you are going to see a tiny bit of flaking in the pan so tread softly it did pick up product and like i said my brush is a tiny bit wet i think that's the only way you're going to be able to pick up some of product with a brush although that sonia g brush worked actually very very nicely Okay, I need to hurry up because I'm losing light. There are some very dark clouds coming in. <laughs> Face is completed. Let me tell you what else I went in. Powder blushes. I went into my Make Beauty blushes. I have two different shades, so I just went ahead and mixed both of them. Eyebrows. I have the Benefit Brow Pencil and the Dominique Cosmetics Brow Gel. Mascara. I went into my MAC Stack Mascara and mixed some of the little YSL sample I got. And for the lips, I have the KKW Beauty Honey 2 Lip Liner. No longer available, but Nude 2 is supposed to be the corresponding shade for this one. And the Chanel Coco Bloom. The Lipstick Balm Hybrid in the shade Ease. I feel like my makeup looks absolutely stunning. Oh, highlighter. I went in to the My Mini Dream uh, Glow Blush from Natasha Denona and just used the highlighter. I've really been enjoying that whole little mini blush thing. It's so pretty. Okay, not a lot of products to talk about, but let's just go over everything real quick. The Sephora Collection Powder Contour. I'm actually truly, really enjoying this. I love the shade. I love the blendability. I love that it's not super pigmented right off the bat. It honestly blended out beautifully, seamlessly, and it's a good product upon first impressions. I will keep using this as long as everything else that I mentioned in today's video, but so far, thumbs up for me. For first impressions okay both of these sonia g brushes actually performed absolutely beautiful today this shader brush from sonia g actually really shocked me it picked up the product really really well i was not expecting that any other time i've tried using brushes like this with like metallics or shimmers or anything like that it just doesn't work out but it worked out really well with the make beauty eyeshadows i've been using this one um and i've been enjoying it it honestly is a beautiful shape bristles are beautiful i love the handle yeah just everything about these brushes i do really love again this is t2 and this is t4 okay as far as the make beauty products i am really enjoying this make beauty little multi-chrome shadow now this is not your indie kind of multi-chrome. It's a much softer formula. If you are a one and done kind of gal, I feel like this is going to be perfect for you. It really just gives you a beautiful, almost metallic 
kind of shine that's soft because I feel like sometimes it can be too harsh especially if you have a lot of fine lines like I do on my lids more than I did 10 years ago <laughs> so so far so good I'm kind of regretting not purchasing one of the other shades I think quartz is the one that I was looking at but I still really love the way that this eye look came out. Okay, this brush, this brush is actually really nice. The Precision Eye Smudger. I honestly didn't think much of this brush when I purchased it. I wanted to get free shipping. I do really enjoy that Make Beauty's products, you can tell that they put a lot of thought and effort into the packaging itself. If you were to feel this, like you can almost use this like as a weapon. It's, it's that heavy duty. You already know, and I feel like a broken record, Make Beauty is a fabulous brand. I absolutely adore the brand. It's one of my favorites and the products keep proving why it is. So yeah, okay, I think that's everything. <sighs> All right, my lovelies, that's going to be it for this video. I know it was only two makeup products, but I hope you still enjoyed me using all of these beauty items today. I get excited for brushes as much as I do for makeup. I, I don't know if you do, but I do. So I was super stoked to just test everything out, whether it was makeup or just a beauty item within itself. I hope this video helped you out in case you were interested in any of the products that I mentioned today. I feel like my makeup looks absolutely stunning. So it speaks for itself. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes if you use my links to shop it truly does mean the world to me with that being said do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you all on the next video bye